It's called A Partridge. It's 403rd Freak Out. It's not been recorded anywhere, and it probably never will be. God bless you. Thank you all for listening. Listen, the Mulligan Brothers are going to give you all so many beautiful sounds. That ain't what I'd give you. Is it? Harrison gives you beautiful sounds. I give you talking while I play this guitar. Well, sometimes I think we're already dead. Or this trap that I call time is just some inception like dream state I'm in as I lay down. And I think maybe we never existed at all Or just some five-sensed hallucinations or just the mirror image of a higher reality Beyond our comprehension And I lie awake at night And I can't keep my mind from wondering About what it all means That I have the ability to wonder what it all means Do you know that nobody in this whole wide world Can give you the definition of consciousness That doesn't venture off into religion Or some kind of absurdist pseudoscience And since I started listening to both sides Without caring on to which side I fell Well I found out that there are more than two sides If you really want to know a subject well Which only led me to more heartbreak As I thought about all the fights That had been started by two sides and neither one of them were truly wrong or right. And then I considered the brutality that I witness every day and how numb to the sight of human suffering I'd become in my middle age. Now all the fascists and the commies are spewing out their dogma and taking over the conversation and any voice that's devoid of an agenda's been removed from consideration. And I thought about the weapons of mass destruction, the biological and the chemical and nukes, and that we could have them all fired from the push of a button of an orange presidential buffoon. And so I started reading up on how to survive a nuclear apocalypse, and after my research, I concluded I didn't even want to survive to live in a world like that. So even if I try to be positive and convince myself that someday we could have peace, well, it's then that I realize in a billion years or so this planet's going to cease to be because the sun has gravity too, you know. And we're being pulled in as we orbit. And if we don't find a way to destroy this earth, the sun's going to do it for us. And so, la, 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 turn off your mind. Oh, la, 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 turn off your mind. an act of mind is a devil's playground it's the devil's playground well I made it through verse one there uh, I told you it took me two months to learn it huh? My mind turned to the scientists, explorers, and the greatest amongst us all who gave their lives to learning and research and made great discoveries about the world. And then it occurred to me that all truth exists long before some learned man makes it known. I mean, E don't equal MC squared just because Einstein said it was so. And considering this, science kind of seems like a waste. I'll just devote myself to art. At least an artist creates something of value, a unique representation of his heart. And then I looked around at this plastic world and their frowning faces and its disdain for beauty. And I saw all the poor, starving artists dwelling at the fringes of a cold society. But you know that we would not have fur release if it were not for this individual named Beethoven. And we would certainly not have the White Album if Paul McCartney never met John Lennon. And I said, well, maybe that's my problem. I miss my Lennon. Somehow that chance done passed me by. And that's the reason I'm sitting here singing this stupid song and losing my freaking mind. And then even this stranger thought my tortured mind began to ponder. 
I wonder if Einstein had met McCartney first while John Lennon studied the great wonders. I mean, I ain't saying it would have been the Beatles, but it sure would have been interesting to see what they put out because I know that Einstein had some pretty cool hair, but I wonder if he could twist and shout. And maybe if Einstein had been singing, oh, blah, D, oh, blah, da. Instead of drafting the letter to Roosevelt that paved the way to the nuclear bomb, then a little boy from Nagasaki could have married a pretty young girl from Hiroshima, and they could have sang Oh Blah Dee Blah Da together, their favorite song by the Beatles. And I can't imagine that the guy that wrote Imagine would have been much use in a science lab unless that lab had the sole purpose of giving world peace a chance. So we gotta give Lennon to science and Einstein to McCartney. We gotta find a way to get back in time. But then I realized if we ever build a time machine, it'll be based on the scientific work of Albert Einstein. So la 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 la, la 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 la, turn off your mind. Oh la la la. La 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 la, turn off your mind. Oh la 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 la, la 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 la, turn off your mind. Because an act of mine is the devil's playground. Lord, it's the devil's playground. The devil's playground. Devil's God bless you.